When I was younger, I used to have dial-up internet. For those of you kids out there who don't know what dial-up internet is, that's where your internet literally needed the use of your telephone network to connect to the internet. And this was always so infuriating because it was slow as hell. It took forever just to load a damn, just to load the damn internet. If somebody called your house at the time and your mom picked up the phone, you'd be kicked off the internet and you'd have to wait for her to finish her phone call to even get back on the internet. It was just terrible. It was it was a god-awful time for mankind. And if I ever had to go back to that, I mean, I don't know what I would do. I think I'd give up. I think I'd just give up. I'd run into the woods somewhere. I'd decide to become homeless and I'd just leave everything behind and just live with the squirrels. I feel like that would be a better life at this point. Back then, I didn't have a lot of computer games to play. Most of the games that I had were offline games anyways, and my computer was also terrible. So when I would go online, I would usually just go and look for like pictures of stuff. I remember I used to read Sonic fan fiction. Not, not a proud moment in my life. Not the proudest moment. Not the proud. Not the proudest moment in my life. I'll admit. I'll be the first to admit that it was not the proudest moment in my life. But that's what I used to do, okay? I used to read Sonic fan fiction, and I remember looking up pictures of stupid stuff, because what else was I gonna do? <laughs> One of the memories I have distinctly was sitting down and looking up, is there a way to find Mewtwo in Pokemon Snap? Because Mewtwo wasn't in Pokemon Snap. There was only one portion in the cave where you could see like stars that made an outline of Mewtwo. But it was just stuff like that that I used to use the internet for. For video game walkthroughs, because I had never had access to them before. For silly images, and for... Sonic the Hedgehog fan fictions. <sighs> Oh, no. But one thing that used to be a lot bigger, at least it was big in my eyes, I don't know if it was ever big for anyone else, but I know it's definitely dead now, is there used to be an, a website called shitbricks.com, or when you see it, you'll shit bricks, or something like that. I can't, I can't, I, let me just, let me check. Yeah, here we go. Shit bricks, shit bricks and mind fuck pics. I used to go on the website shit bricks, and I would just look up mindfuck pictures. For those of you who don't know what a mindfuck picture is, it's essentially a picture where there's something crazy going on in it and you don't see it until at the last moment you're like, oh my god! And that's why you'll see right here all these, when you see it, oh when you see it, oh when you see it you'll shit bricks. So I today I thought it'd be fun to just go ahead and look through these together with you guys if you didn't mind and if you do mind too bad because I've already decided and there's no way to even change my mind at this point. When you see it you little shit bricks. I don't- What am I looking at here? Oh wait. His ear looks like a person's face. Huh. Uh, oh, it says it right down here. I just realized there's a face on its ear. Thanks for the spoiler. When you see it, you little shit bricks. What am I supposed to see? I don't see anything. The tree kind of looks like it has a face in it. See, this is one of those psychological things where you start looking at something for so long and you're actually looking to find something that your brain will create faces and objects out of pure nothingness just to, just to, just to, just to fuck with you. <clears throat> the only thing I do see is they're sitting on a gravestone. That's kind of disrespectful. Wow, for shame. Shame on you guys. Shame on you. When you see it, you will shit bricks. What? I see a hole. It resembles, it does resemble something. I'm not going to say what, but it does indeed resemble something. Oh, fucking shit. I was literally sitting there just now thinking, damn, that'd be unfortunate if this is a gif and something scared the shit out of me. And then something literally flew out of the screen and scared the living crap out of me. Can't handle this. Can't handle it. Can't handle it. Can't handle it. Can't handle it. I can't handle it. When you see it, you shall sit bricks. That's racist. I don't like this one one bit. This is too spoopy. This is too spoop for me. Oh, fucking. Oh my god. Whew. See the eyeballs right there? The little eyeballs. Scared the spoop out of me. When you see it, you will see it. Oh, wait. <laughs> I did not even remotely read that correctly. Wow. When you see it, see what exactly? What am I trying to see here? See, I, once again, I don't, I literally don't see anything. I don't know what, what they're talking about. When you see it, you'll see it breaks. <laughs> see, the sad part about a lot of these is, is as a kid, they scared me. A lot of these actually scared me, like when I saw it, I'd be like, <gasps> and then I'd have problems sleeping at night because God knows why. Okay, so here we have an old lady sitting on a chair, 
reasonably, on top of a table, also quite reasonably. Her face is a little bit concerned, and at the same time a little bit disconnected from reality. Um, apparently when I see something, I will indeed excrete hardened concrete out of my booty. But the only problem is, I do not see it. What is in this image that I don't, that I don't understand? Is it the fact that she's on a chair on a table? Am I missing the punchline here? Granny on a on a chair on a table where the green grass grows all around and around and the green grass grows all around the one thing i do notice is that granny is flooding bad granny you are flooding girl you better stop that when you see it you'll shit break scared girl in a cellar okay she looks quite spooped look at her that's the face of a spoopified chillid but there's got to be something else in this image that we're looking for that's too clear that's too obvious it's way too obvious for it to be the reason that that concrete is coming out of my my bootay hole. I see a teddy bear waving. That's quite adorable. I appreciate that, Mr. Tedders. Oh, I see it. I see. Ooh. Oh, do you see it? Do you see it? Comment down below if you see it. Too late. I'm showing you. It's right there. Boom. You see him? <laughs> That's very spooptifying. Is that a picture of Ed Sheeran? Well, guys, that is all the time I have for this video. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. That wasn't even remotely a good idea. But it was fun nonetheless. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed the video. Please feel free to let me know what you guys thought of the video down below. And until next time, I'm Avenged One.